Hey everybody, it's Bill, Competition Cars. So now we're gonna do the driving video on this 1975 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. White over burgundy with a burgundy top. 20,000 right miles on this car. Sit on a beautiful brand new set of tires with the wider white walls. Painted on factory stripe. Initials on the door. The only thing that's been touched on this car, to my knowledge, is the uh, rear bumper fillers were done. It's got a laser straight body. Very nice bright work. Watch your puddle drift. The bright work, chrome on the tail lights, top of the bumper. There's a little bit of tiny, a couple little bubbles here, really, really minimal. The front bumper and the rest of the back bumper looks great. Very presentable. So Chris hop in, finish walking around it. We'll, we'll take this thing for a ride and we'll show these guys what this car's got. Alright, so the horn works, wipers work. sound like all the speakers are working but the radio does work driver side window passenger side window we'll check the cruise when we take it out power door locks the passenger side door lock is working the driver side is not the one for the mirror on this side works the one for the mirror on that side works it's got really cold air conditioning which is nice We've had such rainy weather, guys. It's been a mess here. All right, so what else are we going to check? The seats. Seats forward, backward, up, down. They all work good. The tilt portion's working, so all the seats work. Let's wind this clock up and see if we can get a clock to work. I'm going to call it not working because the clock's literally never working. is working nice. This car has a beautiful dash, beautiful carpet, steering wheel, and you can tell it's a legit 20,000 mile car. It's got 20,284 miles on it. Gas gauge works. We're going to check the cruise when we get out on the highway. A couple of those ducks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the... Uh, the history on this car was a gentleman, I told this in the other videos, a gentleman buys it new, passes away somewhere around 2020. He gets willed to the brother, I believe it was, and he kept it for a couple of years, put a couple thousand miles on it, and then sold it to me. And they talked about how well it was preserved and how it was garage kept. And you can tell by the undercarriage and the engine bay and the rest of the car just how nice it is. Got really tight, tight steering too. Feels really good. Got a good, good brake pedal. Not too hard, not too soft. Got some decent power. It's got that 500 cubic inch V8. We're gonna assume the rear defrost works. Pretty quiet riding car. Speedometer, trip odometer, all that stuff works like it should. I'd say it's never been smoked in that this like it's been touched, no ashtray, old ashes in the ashtray, which is really good. So I'm gonna step on it here. It's pulling nicely, shifts good, you can hear the four barrel kicking in. Go ahead and check the cruise. All right, 
cruise control works. Another plus. So other than one door lock, I think everything else is good to go in this car. Everything else works, yeah, yeah, nice. Like that, nicely preserved, just super clean. I love the white over the burgundy-ish red interior with the matching darker burgundy top. Just a car that you'd be really proud to own. And uh, it's serviced, it's clean, it's detailed, it's ceramic coated, it's all there. Pan across that hood, show how nice that hood looks. And back into the shop it will go. I'm gonna pull it right in here and where, where it will remain until the high bidder picks it up. It's, good, it's gonna be a good company, a 70 Trans Am, a 73 Grand, a 73 Trans Am. 73 Grand Am, we got the uh, Mark IV under wraps, we got the Town Coupe going to Sergio, we have the Newport that's not sold yet, and we got the Fifth Avenue that's sold, that's going somewhere out, I think the Midwest maybe. But there it is guys, clock still ticking, it's looking good. Any questions, put them in the comment section, you'll see this on YouTube first. The car is live on Bring a Trailer as we speak right now. And I uh, got a very conservative reserve, so hopefully the high bidder wins it and we get this thing to a new owner. Have a great day, guys.